Okay, and now we're going to be working on our water trap, or bubbler, as they would call it. Uh, mine is a little bit different, uh, just due to the fact that I needed to make something that would match the cell, and something that would complement looks-wise and functionality. I am not going to tear this one apart, just due to the fact that it's made exactly the same as our cell. It, the only difference is that we are putting two ports for our quick connect and we are not putting any terminals in this one. So what we have here on the inside, same as last time, we have our rubber washer and the same on the bottom, rubber washer. We have our four bolts and our nuts that tighten down the bolts. And when you're tightening these bolts, make sure you give it even pressure or else you will risk cracking or breaking your hydrogen cylinders. And so now, what I have here in the inside is just a piece of aluminum tubing. You can use any type of tubing as long as it's uh, not Eh, well, I guess you could use anything. Just, um, I have put from one side of the disconnect, or from the quick connect coupler, I have put a aluminum pole inside of the bottom, which basically should look like that. That's your entrance for the hydrogen, and this one in there is your exit. So you do not put anything on that one. That one will be just left alone. And here, I went to any fishing supply or pet supply store, and you would pick up a reverse flow air thing. I guess it just it stops the water from going back up the tube once it's pushed in. When the pressure is pushed in, it doesn't push it back out. And then we have a regular air bubbler. Just a regular stone air bubbler, which helps break up the hydrogen a little bit better. And just overall looks better, too. And, of course, we have our pressure gauge and this one, too. So when they are both put together...